guys. So, I wanted to get on here and make this video. After I've seen the injustice that took place today in New York. Let me start off by saying that this channel is a survival and wilderness prepping channel. Okay, I only have one goal on this channel, and this is to help people that don't know survival skills learn survival skills. But, after today, I felt like it was my civic duty to make this video. Let me start off by saying that I don't think what took place in New York was okay. It was not. The trial that was set forth was a false trial. All the charges that are against him are politically motivated. Trying to, I'm trying to find my words, guys, because I don't, I just don't want to scream at the camera. You have all this fake news going on. CNN's bad, but man, I've seen some, some bad, bad titles on articles from NBC News, man. talking about y'all know what they're talking about a lot of people are saying that he can't run for president after this and that is false the Constitution the United States Constitution clearly states that to run for president you have to be 35 years old you have to be a U.S. born citizen and you have to have been a citizen in the United States for at least 14 consecutive years. That's it. It does not say any anywhere that a felon cannot be the president of the United States. So whoever is telling you that and trying to get you amped up over that, it's just, it's just not true. So don't don't listen to that garbage, okay? They're feeding their base and sadly their mainstream news. They're the ones that you're gonna see on TV. You have to look for people like me. So if you're on here and you're still watching, I'm assuming that you probably agree with what I have to say. So let me let me start by saying that I'm a very patriotic American. I do everything that I possibly can that I think would better my state and my country through things that I do and that's all we can do as citizens. Well, you know, I'm not I'm not a rich guy. I would probably not even be considered middle class to be honest. I do this survival stuff because it's what I enjoy doing. It's what makes me me. Um, I have an eBay store on the side, Dynamic Underscore Survival, and I sell survival stuff and custom military dog tags a lot of people I don't want to get down a rabbit hole but a lot of people probably don't know that I sell custom dog tags and I've made reproduction military grade dog tags for uh, actually a military museum was one of my first customers for uh, Iwo Jima memorial pretty cool 
pretty cool to know that, that the tags that I made are in there. But uh, one of my other other good seller sellers of dog tags is my Donald Trump dog tags. And I just one day out of the blue I thought, you know what, I support the man and I bet people would like these, so I put them on there. But today, after I've seen the injustice that took place in New York, anybody that gets on my eBay store, dynamic underscore survival, and orders a pair of Donald Trump dog tags, whatever money is given from that purchase, I will donate to the Trump campaign until the election is over. I'm not a very rich man. I live on my parents' property because I can't afford $900 to $1,800 of rent. Okay? I chose a long time ago that I was not going to go into a 9 to 5 job work my life away and be nothing to nobody I made that decision a long long time ago so all the money that I do make I have to I have to make it work you know besides the survival stuff I have all kinds of other needs that need met you know just like many of you But, you know, I managed to buy 20 of the Lee Greenwood Trump Bibles. And I really could not afford those, but I did. And you know what? When I bought those, I, I originally bought them because I thought, you know, as a Christian, this would be a cool, a cool ad you know, the Christian Bible with the Constitution and Bill of Rights and Declaration of Independence. That'd be pretty cool, right? It's all in one book. But I bought the others because, really, who knows how long they're going to last? Not just, not just Trump, not just any of that. Like, freedom of speech. If we're attacking a government official, guys, our rights are not safe. This, this whole idea of being a free citizen in the United States has come under fire. And it's scary. You know? I've talked to a lot of people. They haven't... Nobody's seen anything like this. You know? And I'm not one to call for violence or nothing like that, but... I'm going to tell you what, if they, if they did something to Donald Trump, locked him up, something like that, made some new amendment where they made it to where he couldn't run, how do you think, we're just going to say very, very conservatively that half the country supports him, I'm, I'm sure it's much more than that, but conservatively, let's say half the country supports him, and let's say that a few, a handful of people took away half the country's vote. How do you think it's gonna, how do you think it's gonna, like, respond to the country? What do you think exactly is gonna happen? I used to have a Facebook group when I was just starting out on social media, and it didn't last long because Facebook didn't like it. Facebook being what they are and it was called the second coming civil war and it was just a topic platform that people would get on and they would discuss like yeah this country is falling down the crapper and we're definitely headed for something like that well this group was put together in 2019 and after three weeks of being created it had over 15 thousand people joined it that were active 
three weeks. I only took three weeks because it only took three weeks for Facebook to take it down. Like I said, this is 2019. This was pre-COVID. This is before Facebook got really bad. We have, we have all these written rights down in our country. God-given rights. Rights that men and women have fought and died for. And somebody... The American liberal, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna say it, the American liberal hates the United States. They wanna change it into some communist utopia and they wanna take everything that makes you you and turn you into something demonic. It's the only way I can say it. How else can you describe people that wanna kill children in the womb and dress men up like women and Put them in elementary schools. What would you call that? I call it demonic. Yeah, I, I know guys, this video... I don't plan on making a whole lot of these unless something real big happens, guys. <clears throat> but... I have, I have to use my platform... To one, get this off my chest. And two, to raise awareness the mainstream media is not going to do it and there are plenty of other people saying what I'm saying and saying it way better but on the off chance you find this video I hope that it opens your eyes if your eyes aren't open this whole issue needs to be sorted out in a free and fair election I don't support banning Trump and states States should not ban anybody from voting. Just like Ohio was having that issue with Trump or with uh, Biden not being allowed on the ballot because he didn't file in time. I think that is wrong. Biden should be allowed to be on the ballot. Anybody running for public office, regardless of what you think of them, because it doesn't matter, should be allowed to run. That's, that's what this whole country is built on. And, you know, we don't, we don't win every time, you know. But that's what happens when you have a free country, you know. I've always said for a long time that the United States, we only have one problem. And that's, that's that you can change whoever's in power every four to eight years. And they can change what the last person did for four to eight years. I have no problem with elections every four to eight years. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... Is Donald Trump could be in there for four years. Joe Biden gets in there for four years and resets it. Okay. Now, how many times has somebody done that? How many times has somebody come in, been president, didn't like what was installed, uninstalled it, reinstalled their garbage, they got out, somebody got in, installed new garbage? Guys, that's the, that's the singular problem with this country. And we all just need to stand up and say we're not going to allow it. And I, I'm not, like I said, guys, I don't, I don't call for any kind of violence or nothing like that. I'm not like that. Protests, yeah, yeah, that only goes so far and those get out of hand and people say stuff happens that doesn't happen. All I'm asking is is that if you can help support this man in any way that doesn't hurt your situation, you should do it. And if you don't, and if you don't care for him, do that Do that too. That's all I'm saying. Be you. Be you. Be the person that this country was designed to be. That makes sense. Vote for whoever you want to vote for. I, you know, if I'm being dead honest here, if Joe Biden was in court today and he got found on felony charges, I probably would not be as upset, if I'm being honest. But it would be wrong to charge a former president that's done something while they were in office, fake stuff, 
politically motivated garbage. So we'll just leave at that. Because I can't say that it didn't happen because I wasn't there. But what I can say is, is that none of this was an issue until this man actually became president and then lost and then now is running. Now that he's running, they're pulling everything out of the woodwork. If this guy looked at somebody wrong, they're pulling that out of the woodwork, you know? So, there's nothing new. And it's not supposed to be like a reaction video or something stupid like that. I just want to get on here and say my two cents. And If you guys wanted to help and support my eBay store, Dynamic underscore, underscore Survival. Dynamic underscore Survival. Say that ten times fast. And you guys order Trump tags. You have my word as a man. That's all a man has. I will donate every profit penny to his organization. And if you guys don't want to buy from me or support me, you still want to support him, do one of his one million fundraisers he's got going on. Seriously. I, we have one goal, and that's just to get this country back on the right track. And I believe that's done with Donald J. Trump. So, thank you guys for watching. And if I have to leave this video with one phrase, it would be Trump 2024. See you guys next time.